How are you guys feeling about Demon Slayer so far? I just recently heard that the movie was actually 40 minutes long. And I thought the movie was really long and they're trying to adapt 8 episodes into it. But now I'm realizing 8 episodes made from the 40 minute movie isn't even possible. The airplane scenes? Yeah, it's nice to see Muichiro's development of the personality from what he was before and now. He's able to express himself with Tanjiro, but I don't think, like, Shonen audience gives a fuck about that. They're like, where is my fight? Where the fuck is it? Ah, man, they're asking the same thing, but I think we should have our expectations low because this is a training arc. What do you really expect from it? Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> oh, that's right. What kind of training are we doing here? Amazing. <sighs> this is training? What are we doing? I thought we came to Mitsuri's place for training. Pancake training. I still think that waffles are better. Tanjiro kun, Ah, feed me. Ah. Tanjiro kun. Umai. Don't say that, that's a flag. Yeah. Cross-dressing or is this an apron? Are we gonna do like cooking arc here? <laughs> In today's episode of Demon Slayer, it's look like we're gonna do like ballerina shit. <laughs> is this no flexibility is important, guys. Knowing how to balance yourself and fuck like even like yoga and ballet, like ballerina shit, straight up, like High like, elite athletes, they like this kind of stuff is actually important. This is literally sports science. Tanjiro looks very ready while everyone looks very scared. <laughs> totally different type of training from Muichiro's. Yes, flexible body is important. All right, guys, spread your legs, get limber now. Fuck, Tanjiro gets replaced by Mitsuri and this NPC gets to do with Mitsuri? This is not fair. This is not fair. Mitsuri should be replacing this fucking NPC character over here on the right. <laughs> this lucky motherfucker! <laughs> Wait. Maybe it's not lucky, because she's brutally strong. Wait, this is not going to work out the way I think it's going to happen. Uh-oh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. We got lucky. We got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> they look more scared than the training against Muichiro now that I look at it. <laughs> it is important to be flexible, though. Uh -oh. Did we just skip? Wait, 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 wait. It, it sounds like we just finished the training with Mitsuri and now we're here. I thought Iguro was like, I, I don't know, okay. Alright, we speed running. <laughs> okay. He's mad. Hey, I got my legs spread by her. What do you want? You want me to spread your legs? <laughs> he's so fast whenever Mystery is involved, bro. He's like, oh, letter from her? <laughs> That's why he hates us. That's why he absolutely fucking hates us right now. Why would you tell him about that? Because Mitsuri doesn't see Tanjiro as a boyfriend. But Iguro and Tan you know, Mitsuri, they're definitely a thing. <laughs> Cocked! No! No! <laughs> What? We swing our swords while dodging these obstacles. Who are our fucking teammates tied up? This is some weird bondage shit. Is, does Igor roll like that? We're not gonna hit the kids, right? No, this is training. <laughs> Being weak. I never really knew about Igoro's personality. All I've seen him was be really nice to Mitsuri and give her the thigh highs. Him and Sanami scenes, right? They seem to be boys. But now with Tanjiro, he f well, this is his like really angry side to Tanjiro. It's not fair, but cool to see more personalities from Igoro. 
これを持て He's not gonna hit them, right? No. He's gonna go through without hitting them. Precise, like accuracy. <laughs> okay. Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> Destroy! Oh! <laughs> Too slow. One v one. Okay. Three seconds left. You know, if I think about it, this is like training for the NPCs too. It seems kind of unfair, right? It seems kind of unfair that everyone else is tied up here while Tanjiro gets like the single like training session with Iguro. But if you think about it, do you expect these foot soldiers to do anything? No, they're cannon fodder. So this is them, you know, training to be cannon fodder right now. I think this is actually really good. Also, the camera animation here is crazy. Oh, oh what the fuck? I think that was just imagery. It just looked like it was spinning. Did it actually just do that? I thought he could only do that with his fucking sword. How? Yeah. Ignore them! Because we gotta beat Muzan, bro. Alright, wherever Tanjiro goes, he seems to inspire everyone else, huh? That's like the power of a main character, bro. You, you like, not only are you strong yourself, but like everyone around you also gets inspired and gets raised up together. That's like the main character uh, multiplication factor. Mm. Mm. All those scratches, dude. Oh. Day three. How that sword doing that? Day four. Tanjiro, you snake like sword. Alright, locked in. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. We basically just ignored everyone. We're gonna skit to a different land now. Oh, they saved the budget for this episode. Nice cut! That counts as a hit to me. The funniest shit would be after that, after in the entire training, right? If we see, like, all these other kids that just got hit while during that, you know, schizo fucking delusion training in a different land, that'd be the funniest shit. Everyone was like, ah! We got one cut in there, though. What about everyone else? Are they just tied up forever? New people come in and do the same shit? Over and over? I don't know. Even the snake is mad. Does he know why? He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Very dense. You're a bird. Did a bird just call us a bird brain? Sanami been clapping Zenitsu's ass? Bro, turn into a fucking spider. What happens? Ah, 
Or die. Man, I thought that Genya might be involved in the training, especially with Sanami because of their relationship, but like, I haven't seen Genya at all. Maybe he'll show up now? I think the author does this intentionally because he knows that everyone fucking hates Zenitsu except for when he's unconscious. Actually, he's unconscious right now. He should fucking activate, you know, his actual breathing style. Whenever he's unconscious, he goes crazy mode, right? Oh, it's so tsundere, man. Based! And again, season one content, I was a hate watcher. I skipped through most of season one, unfortunately. I started watching seriously in season two, so this is my lack of season one content knowledge. But Sanami was shown in season one. First Hashira meeting, he stabbed Nezuko. That's fucked. How bad was the stab? Sanami stabs Nezuko. No subtitles. Here we go. No audio here either. Sorry. In the box? Oh my god. You monster! Holy shit! Ah! Oh, this is not a magic trick! Nezuko can heal, but like, what the fuck, dude? Man, a lot of season one content that I just never even saw, because again, my explanations before in the previous videos. Alright, back to the main content! We have Mitsuri. Here we go. Look at that wind, bro. This is kind of like Muichiro training. <laughs> that makes the ego to look good. Why is it my fault, bro? Fuck you! This is so fucked up. Oh, siblings. I always loved you, big bro. Oh! You're a demon. Oh, man. That's so mean. Holy shit. <laughs> no, no, not like that. This is different. Bro, come on. Sorry, Kara Teme, Mita Tokoro. I wonder if he's only saying this because he cares about Genya and he doesn't want Genya to die. So he's being like a super tsundere saying, you're weak, just quit, don't even fight. Is it something like that? Or like, ah, uh, he hate. What even happened? We had the Genya flashback. We know how Genya is like half demon or some shit, right? And then uh, Sanami, I don't think is, right? Sanami isn't, right? Genya can't use breathing techniques. He uses American breathing. <laughs> he uses the guns. So I'm not sure if Sanami hates Genya for, you know, affiliation with demons or if he actually does care about him and is pushing him away so he doesn't die. Hopefully the latter. Glocks! Double barrel shotgun! That's so weird to hear Genya's voice like this. Tanjiro is basically watching a sitcom. Bro is watching this show with us. He's the audience right now. He's like, don't give up, Kenya. Don't let him go like this. I always loved you, big bro. Yeah. Sanami didn't know. Yeah, he got some demon powers, but he can regen slowly. Is he gonna kill him now? <laughs> what is this aura? Actually gonna kill him? Dude, he almost got his eyes gouged out. Even if he did though, we could have healed our eyes back, right? Because he's got that demon regenerative capabilities, but damn. He's so fucking mean. <laughs> Act like you guys are dead. <laughs> Play dead. I didn't do this. What's that sound? 
What the fuck? Wait! <laughs> Hello! Did you just call him Osan? How old is Sanami? Does anybody know? I don't want to like, uh, I don't want to like, uh, what's it called? Uh, search the wiki because, you know, the wiki is fucking spoilers, but... How old is Sanami? Zenitsu is like... Honest... <laughs> Zenitsu is probably like 15, 16? I guess if you're like 21. <laughs> Calling a 21 an Osan is crazy. <laughs> I feel like Osan starts at like 40 maybe. Maybe like late 30s, but like... Damn, calling 21-year-old Osan, bro. <laughs> Listen, you Zoomers in your 20s, bro. These Gen Alpha kids, these, when these Gen Alpha kids grow up, when you, when you Zoomers hit like 23, 24, they're gonna call you fucking Boomer, bro. And then you're gonna be like, what the fuck are these dumbass kids? How old am I? I will never disclose my age. The only time I'll disclose my age is when I end my channel after how many years of doing content creation. When I'm retiring, I will disclose my age. Why? There is nothing you get from disclosing your age that comes good for you. If, you're, if you state a number and it's too old to the audience, you're a boomer. If you state an age that's too young for the audience, you're a kid, that's opinion doesn't matter. There is nothing good you get from disclosing your age. You ain't knowing that shit till I fucking retire, baby. <laughs> and the best thing, I'm gonna remain looking like this to the remainder of my career. Because I'm Asian and I got my fucking skincare routine on lock. I'm gonna be looking like this ambiguous as fuck for the next 10 years and you won't even fucking know, bro. You ain't gonna fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> You literally said you're not my brother. How the fuck you gonna make Genya do this shit after you say I don't got a brother, bro? That's so true. That's right. The battle against Han Tengu, bro. Yo, Genya was very important, bro, with this fucking double barrel shot. I still can't believe you pulled out the guns, bro. That might have been the most, like... Out of context, ridiculous moment in Demon Slayer. It's like, how the fuck is he gonna fight? Bro brought a gun and I'm like, <laughs> everyone else has a fucking sword breathing techniques. You're like, mm, it's just like, oh, miss breathing, oh, sun breathing. And Genya's like, fuck you, American breathing. It was just a nonsensical moment, dude. She was so funny. Yeah. Let's go! Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Blocked! Ooh! Got a hit on! Save Genya! Cause I'm trying to fucking be dead right now. Then it's you fucking pussy. Get the fuck out of here right now. Just with the win? No, he grazed, he grazed. He is fucking crazy. <laughs> then he just can't get to a fucking break. I swear to God, the author does this on purpose because he knows everyone fucking hates that. He's like, shut the fuck up. Don't shit on my brother that's trying to kill me right now. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Not gonna lie, the Sanami training arc has been fucking hype. Of all the training arcs right now, this is probably the most fun. We're just brawling. Fuck a training arc, bro. Okay, training suspended. We got banned. <laughs> we actually got fucking banned. All right, uh, Gyome is next, right? Um, Tomioka isn't training with. I don't think. To well. We convinced Tomiko to train with us, but then I don't know if he's gonna have an actual workstation. Gyomi is left. What other Hashira is left right now? Shinobu? Yeah, Shinobu was doing some other shit though. Trying to find like, um, uh, what was the other guy? The upper two, was it? Or upper three? I forget. The guy that cuts off beautiful women's heads, right? He's clearly the person that killed Shinobu's sister. But then there's Shinobu, Gyome, and. Will Master be training us? No, Master ain't fucking training us. He's dead. Brothers! Kyome! You know, what's the point of... What, what, what is the point of doing this? 
Because he can't use breathing techniques. He should be just shooting a gun at a target. Like, aim practice. What the fuck is swinging a sword gonna do if you can't do breathing techniques? Well, you can still cut off, I guess, a demon's head with the fucking base slash. He needs melee with different fucking weapons. He needs fucking... Shotguns are melee. Ammo cost a lot? True, I guess. I think that in the infinite castle arc or some future arc where Sanami is fighting and Genya is there, I could totally see Genya almost dying against an upper rank or some demon and Sanami coming in to save him, maybe even sacrificing himself to save the brother. And it's going to be that kind of reunion. It's going to be sad as fuck, right? It's most likely going to be by the time that they get their brother shit hashed out, one of them might be already dead. But 100%, this is going to be better. Sanami will 100 or maybe even Genya will save Sanami, right? Vice versa. Somehow it's going to happen like that. こんなことするつもりじゃなかったんだけどな。授業の成果出てないな。いや、出てるよ。風の音さんとや。誰かまだ山奥なの。岩柱の家。バカじゃないの。もうそろそろじゃ。何か聞こえる。こっちだ。What is it? Gyomei training, Gyomei training. Yeah, I think that is fucking Crunchyroll fucking translation error, bro. They fucking Crunchyroll, what the fuck are you doing? So, this is what kind of Hashira? He's the stone Hashira. Got stone Hashira. Stone breathing. The fuck? Being sturdy. Is he all about like defense and being like an indomitable wall? So, waterfall training right now. <laughs> He's always crying too. <laughs> in fire? Bro is boiling in fire? And he's crying. Just an average Tuesday afternoon for him. <laughs> then he died. Damn, Gilmay! Okay, and that's the episode, I think, right? Yeah. That's it. Oh, there's a little bit of a. Oh, my. Oh, my. Okay, let's, let's watch a little uh, in the post credits. Iguro? Iguro, Iguro hates you. Iguro loves Mitsuri. And. Let's, see, let's hear it. What? Kabura. She might come near us, though. It's not our fault. Woo! The next episode's called The Strongest of the Demon Slayer's Corpse. Saikyo. Holy. And Gyomei was shown. He is the strongest. Damn, bro. Next episode is looking pretty hype. You know what? This episode? Eh, not really a spoiler. I think everyone kind of knew that Gyomei was fucking next level. I don't think that it's like a that much of a spoiler. It doesn't really matter too much to me. I, th I always thought that Gyomei was like the number one. If you look at his positioning everywhere, he just seems like the guy. If you compare this episode to last episode, this is like great episode. Maybe even peak. I don't know about peak. This is a definitely great episode in the tier list that I usually have the weekly episodes. Fantastic anime only scenes. I'm sure that this wasn't shown in the movie, right? The whole sibling, you know, shit going off with Genya and Asanami. Amazing. Uh, he did try to kill him. <laughs> But I think that we're gonna get around, just like how I said before about how even if their sibling relationship is not mended yet, there was definitely gonna come a time in the future where either one of them are gonna save each other, and then that's gonna prove it with actions rather than words. Because I just don't think Sanami or Genya are really brothers that's gonna talk it out. They're gonna have to be through action, and I'm sure we're gonna have some mending. I just fear that the mending will happen right as one of them dies. That's gonna be so fucking sad. Zenitsu uh, got beat the fuck up as usual. We just power, you know, rushed fucking Mitsuri's, you know, training and then Iguro into Sanami. The pacing of this was fantastic. And we go into episode six with Gyome. And then I think we have three episodes left until the end of this season. And I'm sure they're going to have some kind of epic conclusion. All right. So that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.